What's up guys, Huso7 and today I've got a video to talk about the map Shipment on Modern Warfare Remastered and I'm specifically trying to get your guys' opinion on if you love the map, if you hate it, uh, and so be sure to leave me a comment on this and you can post on my Twitter at Huso7 because I'd love to uh, get some of your opinions about this map as well. So the gameplay in the background is me playing Shipment. It's my best in terms of overall number of kills game that I've ever had as well as on the map Shipment. I end up going I think 90 and I have 30 deaths. So 30 deaths is a lot. Be prepared for a lot of deaths and be prepared for a lot of flashbangs and um, sorry RIP headphone users because um, there's going to be lots of explosions and things. So, But this is basically what this map is all about. It's just total craziness the whole time. There's just explosions going off, flashbangs going off, you know, you just spawn and die and spawn and die. And I have martyrdom on right now, which gives me a lot of extra kills. And there's been a couple times that I have dropped a martyrdom grenade on death, and then I've spawned in and killed myself with my own martyrdom grenade. And I think that's actually happened to me a chain of three times. And there's been times that I've spawned in and died from an airstrike, and then spawned in and died from the same airstrike. You know, I've killed myself with airstrikes. Shipman is just kind of a crazy map. It's probably, across all a Call of Duty games ever, it's probably the craziest map. It's right up there with Rust from Modern Warfare 2, you know, which was a nice, small, sort of, cage match map. But I think that Shipman is actually even... Uh, a little bit, in my opinion, smaller and even a little bit more chaotic. There's just, there's just really, you know, the only places that you can get cover are in the shipping crates, which you can shoot through. You don't even need deep impact. And with deep impact, you can shoot, you know, through multiple layers of that sheet metal. So you can die through walls. You can die from the grenades. It's just kind of an all-around crazy map. So I'm curious what you guys think about this map. It seems like some people love it, some people hate it. When it comes up on domination, it seems like most people vote for it. If I'll be in a lobby. You know, sometimes maps will get like five votes maximum. That's usually the most that a, a map gets. But it seems like sometimes Shipment will get, you know, like nine votes or something. Like everyone, it seems like, wants to play Shipment. But then I also see a lot of people on YouTube and I see people on Twitter and, you know, people that I even play with on the headset will be talking about how much they hate this map and how it's just so dumb. And, you know, this, I, I'm, I'm cherry picking my gameplays here because I'm showing one where I get 90 kills and 30 deaths. But I can't tell you how many times it's been the opposite, where it seems like I've gotten 30 kills and 90 deaths. And, you know, it just, it just seems like it happens. And I'll even put this image up on the screen. This is uh, a time playing shipment. I didn't capture the scoreboard at the end, but this was a game where me and my team actually captured the flags and didn't let the enemy team get an entire cap the whole time. We we literally both rounds won 100 to zero. They never even scored a single point. So it's just such a crazy map. It's so small, and there's just so you can throw grenades very easily. You can get RPGs easily. You know, in this gameplay, I'm even using claymores and trying to bait people. And you know, the airstrike and the, the choppers just make it that much more challenging. So my question to you guys is, do you love this map or do you hate it? And for those of you who, I guess both could answer, but specifically for those of you that love the map, my follow-up question is, would you play this map in a 24-7 playlist? Because uh, when I used to play, so I first played Modern Warfare actually back on the PC, and back on the PC, back in the day in 2007, it had a server browser. There was no matchmaking. You could just see a list of all of the different uh, servers that were playing and which maps they were on and how many people they were in. And I, you know, you could customize it. So you could you could join a shipment 24-7. And I used to love playing shipment 24-7. Uh, yeah, I'm on the PC and now you know it's all matchmaking so that isn't really a thing anymore but I would love to see shipment 24-7 come to this game you know maybe especially with the addition of these weekend warfares I think that's a great idea I love the weekend warfare I hope they continue to do some really new and exciting and cool things with that I've got a separate video where I'll be talking about ideas for the weekend warfare but one of the things I would love to see either as a weekend warfare or you know just double XP playlist or something would be 24-7 shipment. It, it, it fits in line with what we've seen before, right? We've had 24-7 Nuketown, which was the smallest map in Black Ops and Black Ops 2, and, you know, we, we've seen things like this in Call of Duty before, and, you know, even remember there was a, a dome 24-7 in Modern Warfare 3, so I love when we have these small, quick, you know, games where you can just rack up lots of kills. I mean, you know, it, it's, I'm, I'm never going to get probably a hundred kills ever again in this game almost 100 and i got 90 but um, that's probably never going to happen ever again so it's nice to enjoy this while you know we we have the chance and i i personally would love to see 
a 24-7 playlist for shipment because I think that that would be a lot of fun. I'm sure people would be worried about their stats and I don't know how popular that would be because I know that a lot of people in the community hate it. So I want to leave the rest of this up to you guys. Leave me a comment on this video or post on my Twitter and let me know what you think. Would you love to play shipment 24 7 because i hope that if you would that we can get enough you know support for it that maybe the developers will hear our plea and will actually add a shipment 24 7 playlist because i think that that would be really awesome and i would love to get in there and uh, just you know play 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 and and that would be awesome i, I also want to know what you guys think just about the map in general it's obviously omitted um for for ground war you know you can't get that many people the spawns would just be crazy but it, it seems like that uh, shipment actually doesn't come up very much. I don't think I've ever seen shipment in free for all. I don't know if free for all, it, maybe it's not in that rotation. Uh, it's supposed to be in the rotation, I think, for hard point, but I've never seen it on hard point. I, I typically only see it on um, team deathmatch and domination. That's the only times that I've ever seen it. And I guess I've seen it on gun game a couple of times. But anyway, I, I love and I would love to see all of the different game modes rotate. I hope shipment's on for all of them because I'd love to see that. And I personally would love to see a shipment 24 7. So there you have it. Be sure to let me know what your uh, shipment experience has been. Is it a map that you, you know, love? Is it a map that you hate? Have you enjoyed playing on it? Or is it just the bane of your existence? Let me know. Uh, you can subscribe to stay up to date on all of my Call of Duty content. Thanks for watching this video. I'm going to just turn off the audio here and let the rest of the gameplay play out for those of you who want to watch me go 90 and 30. It's pretty fun gameplay. I kind of got a little bit better there in the second half. The first half of the game wasn't really that great and I was fiddling with my headset so that's why I kept stopping for a few times. But anyway, that's my video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate it. I look forward to uh, reading your comments. I might even read some of your comments if you post them on this video or on my Twitter out loud on the next video. So that could happen if you guys are watching and commenting so be sure to engage and i look forward to uh, hearing from you guys about your experience with shipment thanks a lot